Time for baseball now on the show as we give you a look inside Guaranteed Rate Field in Chicago. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago White Sox. White Sox baseball starts right now. Play ball. Stepping into the box, number two he comes in that today, leading the American the League in batting for the season. This guy can do just about everything when he's in the lineup. In the top five in the league in runs scored, and he's a big part of this offense. So there's more to this guy than just swinging the bat. He can get on base, too. Here's the first pitch to him. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Carver racing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. He's got a five-game hitting streak going. If you've got to start those big streaks somewhere, I like the way he's swinging the bat right now. Great approach, very comfortable. Let's see if that streak continues today. Up next for Chicago, Benito Rosa. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Benito Rosa. Oh and one here it comes pulls this one into the air out into right field waiting on it the right fielder and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Striding in for Boston number two two on two out for him here in the third. First pitch on its way. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Hey, boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And, boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Abercrombie on second. Newhauser at first, two out in the inning. Popped him up. Jansen waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it's no run. Striding in, Ramon Escobar. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. Ramon Escobar. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Going back is the right fielder. He's there and records the first out. Ready now for the White Sox. Benito Rosa. He flew out in his last at bat. Into Rosa. the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Number two is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Down in order go the White Sox, but they hold a 1 0 lead. At the plate, number two. Out one back. in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First pitch of the at bat. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Goodman, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. The 1 1. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. And out of 
of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number 47 thus far. And the Red Sox have taken a 3-1 to one lead. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare, depending on your viewpoint. A power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. Leading off the inning, Ramon Escobar. And Ramon they'll need White him to Sox. get something going here. The right fielder, Ramon Escobar. The windup and the 0 1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Benito Rosa. Number 24, Benito Rosa. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Under it is the right fielder. Two, two, two. two down. Number two will stand in again as we flash you back to the, the middle back. innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. And he'll snap one over to first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone. It's a two run shot to straight away left his second home run of the game and just like that it's now a 5 2 ball game. As a fellow once said the only park that that ball would have made it out of is Yellowstone. Everyone knows he's got plenty of thump in his bat but come on I'm not sure that ball's even come down yet. Stepping in, Ramon Escobar. The right fielder, number 10, Ramon Escobar. On a line, that's a base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right, so despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Into the box, now number back. two. He's gone number deep two. twice in the game, making him two for four. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last that bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. First delivery to him on the way. Come on, Hit dig, sharply you're to toward work. the right side. Oh, and this deflects right off him. One run is scored. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 7-3 to three ball game. Yeah, nowadays the number crunchers would call that a high leverage at bat. Not exactly sure what that means, but what I do know is they just doubled their lead, so he clutched up big time right there. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Miles Saunders, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Gale has got it, and the side is retired. So two runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Red Sox seven and the White Sox three. Up next is Danny Jansen. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point.
Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Right fielder coming on. He's there and records the first down. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. to three. Boston used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Jaime Berea earned his ninth win of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.